We had 40 containers that we shipped from Indianapolis. If Just think about that, $6,000 each container, and we had 40 of them. We did that for zero. We had donated freight. Today, a food distribution is taking place in a new housing community in El Salvador. 65% of people in El Salvador live on less than $1 a day. With that poor income, they can't afford to do anything else. They can't afford medicine. They can't afford a lot of good food. And so I think there's a lot of need. Like so many regions around the world, the people of El Salvador struggle to find access to clean water. Implementing programs such as water resources and food distribution can be challenging for organizations that may not yet have a working relationship with the governments in the region. Cardwell has discovered that, for his part, he can lean on his organization's relationship with government offices in a country like El Salvador. And he can serve as a host for other organizations that then bring in special skills or expertise. Like all of Central America, El Salvador is a country of beauty and rich culture. It is also a country of extremes. Extreme wealth and opportunity set against a backdrop of crushing poverty. And magnificent, struggling families attempt to live peacefully amid violent crime and corruption. The specter of gang violence looms constant, as most people in Central America want little more than to make an honest living, provide for their families, and pursue simple happiness for themselves and their children. People Helping People Network in El Salvador are working alongside their growing list of coalition partners and volunteers are perfecting a model of cooperation that is lifting the people of this region out of desperate circumstances so they can reach once again for a more prosperous future. Join this worldwide effort. You or your organization can play a vital role in a relief effort that could change the lives of a family in another part of the world. If you have a heart for giving, you're qualified. The Center for Hope Coalition. We're all about people helping people with a servant's heart. People always ask me, you know, what, you're a pediatric rehab doc, why are you concerned about housing, education, nutrition, and to me that's preventive medicine. To be able to bring a water program to an environment like this is, it's just, it's priceless. We, we touch their heart with Christ and His love through these physical examples of our, of our love for them. Coming with a servant's heart. And, and that's what it takes. You know, Jesus said the poor will always be among you, but he didn't say, so forget about them. Because then he went on to say, take care of them, help them, reach out to them. And, and I think that we're finding ways to reach the poor that might help them out of poverty. This is the thing that concerns me about our country in the United States. I think um, we don't see what we, many of us grew up with, which was family, church, and community. A woman in uh, Indianapolis had a lovely story. She, she said uh, she walked out on her porch and she, she could hear lawnmowers and children playing. And she reflected that just a year ago, she didn't dare walk on her porch and what she'd hear would be sirens and gunfire. The neighborhood was, was gently transforming itself. Do something local, start with something small. We have families here uh, who were desperate. We have a family here that was ready to emigrate. They were ready to try to sneak across the border to the United States because they'd run out of hope. But now they have a house, they have a future, and they're staying. If this, is, this is the best immigration 
program that we could possibly hope for. But what the poor need isn't charity, it's capital. Not social workers, but co-workers. And what the rich need is a wise, just, and honorable way of divesting themselves of their overabundance. Jeff really cares for people. He has that concern. If he sees a need, he wants to address it. Because he is so enthusiastic and positive, almost idealistic, I think he brings out the best in people, and they share his vision. One of the projects that stands out most in my mind was the housing project we did uh, for Gary, where there were abandoned homes. There's now families living in those homes, and Jeff Cardwell was the architect of that project. He'll always be focused on making a difference, but he'll always do it with a servant's heart and a deep concern for the people of this state and this country, and I'm proud to be his friend. Quite a ways outside the capital city of San Salvador, a school is benefiting from yet another program that is delivering clean water to the school children living and learning in a remote part of the mountains, once again made possible by the coalition and skilled volunteers. This pediatric burn unit was made possible by yet another collaboration of efforts. Along the way, other skilled partners caught the vision and joined the coalition effort. Most were doctors from Indianapolis. The country had no specialized facility capable of dealing with or effectively treating children with severe burns. The doctors here feel the weight of the responsibility they bear. These children and their families are counting on them every day. A little prayer offered by friends from another part of the world can be just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> Thanks to the expertise and guidance provided by the doctors from Indiana, the staff here at Bloom Hospital in San Salvador have received training and resources to help them treat the children in their own country. You affect generations of people because that love now can be passed down to the next one and the next one and the next one. Everything comes together when you have a home. The security and the economic development is organic and, and it's sustainable when it's organic. We're looking for national security or security at home and we're looking for economic opportunities. But you cannot do that if you don't have the foundation of a home. All these lives will be changed forever. As people helping people in Salvador, we have, thanks God, been integrated by more wonderful people who have united to us and that's made our job easier.